The Kingdom Arena is the most pay to win game mode, especially after the new Beaskit system was released. Beaskits are so strong that if you don't spend money on them, you're doomed. But I refuse to accept this. I want to become the strongest free to play arena player in the world. This means I need to end the season as a top 100 player. Yes, you heard me right, I need to stay on the leaderboard. It's not gonna be easy though. What if you face an opponent you know you can't defeat? Well, I just encountered the number one arena player. There's no way I'll be able to beat them. They're using the really popular White Lily Parfait team. It has Crimson Coral, White Lily, Frostlop, Parfait, and Snapdragon. Usually, I'd be too scared to fight a Grandmaster 1, but this time, I have a counter. I'm using a White Lily Hyper Carry. There's Fettuccine, Financier, White Lily, Black Pearl, and Snapdragon. By using counters, just maybe I can win. This is a new White Lily Hyper Carry. I'm using a zero star White Lily and it still works. So the point of this team is for White Lily to one shot everybody at the one minute mark. Black Pearl boosts White Lily's damage and it doesn't matter if Black Pearl dies or not. Her damage is really low so I'm only using her for the crystal jam. You could also use Hollyberry instead of Black Pearl as an alternative. For some people Hollyberry is better but for others she isn't. Also I never use this against opponents with a paper charm. This is because the paper charm removes their financier buffs. As for the toppings and treasures, I'm just gonna put all of them in the description. This also applies to every other counter. Wait a second, what if the opponent does have a paper charm? Well, this Grandmaster 1 player has it. They're also using Crimson Coral, White Lily, Frostflop, Parfait, and Snapdragon. Dang it, another unfair fight. The White Lily Hyper Carry is not gonna work against this, so instead, I'll use the ultimate secret counter. Almond Cookie. Wait, what? You don't think he's meta? Anyways, this guy named E2005PE created the almond team. He's also the only other top 100 free to play. He told me to use burnt cheese, yeti, frost flop, golden cheese, and almond. It's supposed to counter all parfait teams, including the paper charm. Let's see if I can take down this Grandmaster 1 with it. This almond one-shot team hard counters parfaits. Burnt cheese attacks first, stuns the opponent, and prevents your frost flop from getting crowd controlled. We're using Ice City just in case almond doesn't cast right away. The paper charm makes parfait vulnerable to frost, then frost flop and almond just kill everyone. This team does have a weakness though. It's not that good against a tri DPS. For example, this one right here, being used by a Grandmaster 1. Aw, oh, come on, I have to fight another one? Anyways, their team consists of Crimson Coral, 3 DPS, and Snapdragon. The almond team's not that good against so we're gonna switch back to the white lily hyper carry from earlier. Last time for the treasures we used a scroll watch and whistle, but this time I'll use the feather since it's a good alternative. So here we go, time to fight another Grandmaster 1, dang it. Okay, we've bullied Crimson Coral quite a bit now, so let's try countering the teams with multiple tanks instead. Starting with the easiest one, Yeti Tri Tank without the feather. It consists of Yeti, two tanks, Golden Cheese, and Frost Flop. And most importantly, this opponent's a Grandmaster 1. I guess I have to fight a lot of Grandmaster 1s today. So the counter to this is a team I created. It's a one shot comp that consists of Rebel, Frill, Golden Cheese, White Lily, and Frost Flop. I made this a few weeks ago but never shared it, so oops. Okay, whatever, let's just fight this guy now. Wait, 
what? It's already over? Well, okay then. So basically, this is a white lily scam comp. Frill jellyfish and white lily stun the opponent. Then golden cheese and frost swap kill everyone. However, it's really bad against a swan feather. It's definitely the team's greatest weakness. So what if the opponent does have a feather? Well, this person right here is using it. And of course, it's another Grandmaster one. Dang it. So we're gonna counter two teams at the same time. Yeti tri tank with a feather. And also double tank snapdragon with a feather. This is because the two teams are really similar. And they're both countered by Creme This is a really free to play friendly team because it has four epics and one special. Fettuccine, Burnt Cheese, Financier, Creme Brulee, and Snapdragon. We'll use it against this guy's double tank team. It has Fettuccine, Financier, Golden Cheese, Frost Up, and Snapdragon. Like usual, let's fight another Grandmaster 1. The creme brulee team is pretty simple. Brulee kills everyone at the 1 minute mark. But what if you want to counter it? Well, the white lily one shot comp from earlier is the best counter. Creme brulee is extremely easy to beat. It's a really terrible defense team. I couldn't find a grandmaster 1 player who used it as their defense so that's how bad it is. As you can see from this battle, I one shot my opponent's creme brulee so they're pretty much screwed. You know what? Let's go fight a more difficult team instead. Alright, this is much stronger. It's a double tank snapdragon without the feather. The tanks are fettuccine and financier. And there's many different options for the two DPS cookies. For the counter, Creme Brulee is decent. However, there's one that's even better. So, you know that guy from earlier, E2005 PE? He made a second arena team. It's a Burnt Cheese Tri DPS. It has Burnt Cheese, Golden Cheese, White Lily, Frost Swap, and Snapdragon. And it's meant to counter double tank teams that don't have the feather. Sometimes it does beat the feather though. So, let's fight the next Grandmaster 1. The Burnt Cheese Chai DPS is kinda like a one-shot team. It's also a really good defense. Nobody expects your single tank to be Burnt Cheese, and then their counter might get countered. Okay, so we countered a lot of stuff so far, but what about all the off-meta teams I haven't mentioned yet? Most of them are really bad, so you can just use Coral Chai DPS. The DPS cookies could be a mix of Golden Cheese, White Lily, Frost Hop, and Black Pearl. You could also use Coral Parfait instead. This one's also pretty reliable. However, there's one really strong arena team I haven't told you about yet. I purposely saved this team for later in the video cause my counter kinda sucks. But this Grandmaster one is using a Chai DPS with a Paper Charm. Whenever I use a Chai DPS Paper Charm, it flops. But if you fight an opponent stronger than you, it's extremely difficult to beat them. I decided to use Captain Caviar for my counter. There's a problem though, Captain Caviar is pretty inconsistent. Oh well, I'll just use him anyways. So here's my counter, Coral, Golden Cheese, Caviar, Black Pearl, and Snapdragon. Caviar is supposed to take the feather and hit the opponents twice, and then Golden Cheese is supposed to carry afterwards. Hopefully this will be enough to beat the Chai DPS Paper Charm. I've become pretty powerful. With only 2 hours and 3 minutes left, I'm still 39th place inside the arena. You may think that I secured my rank already. However, anything can happen in the last few minutes of the season. In order to understand why, we need to rewind all the way back to 2 months ago. In Gleaming Memory Season 1, I tried to end the season as a Grandmaster 2. I really wanted the Great Grandmaster title. In the last 15 minutes of the season, I was about rank 160. But then, I ran out of crystal refreshes. I couldn't farm trophies fast enough. So in the last 
last three minutes, I dropped down to rank 202. Ever since then, I felt like an arena failure. To make matters even worse, Elder Fairy got released after I recorded this video. He didn't even exist last season. Since I don't know how to defeat Elder Fairy, I can't actually counter every arena team. Oh yeah, to make matters even worse, there's like a 2000 trophy gap between me and Grandmaster 1. It's definitely impossible for me to reach it. So here I am. I'm at risk of dropping down a lot, but I refuse to let that happen. I will do whatever it takes to maintain my rank. This time I will not fail because I'm the free to play king. You may be wondering what makes me so powerful. Could it be my high leveled labs? Or could it be my high leveled statue? Maybe it's all the arena tickets I saved up. Or perhaps it's due to my secret counters. With more than 3 years of experience, all of these helped me become the strongest arena free to play. With only an hour before the season reset, it's time to dominate the arena. At the end of the season, I was 37th place, and that's how I countered almost every arena team. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see me destroy Elder Fairy. Also, subscribe because I'm poor. Alright, see ya.